the Vickers Type 432 was a prototype high altitude fighter interceptor, the RAF's weapon against German high altitude bombing of Britain that was expected. However, the threat of Germans conducting high altitude bombing never properly materialized in addition to testing problems meant that the Vickers Type 432 program would only produce a single prototype before cancellation. The history of the Vickers Type 432 dates back to 1939. During this year, the Air Ministry issued specification F639 for a two-seater fighter capable of reaching 400 miles per hour. At the time, Vickers was already designing a twin-engine two-seater fighter powered by the Rolls-Royce Griffin that contained a single 40mm cannon on a flexible mount at the front of the aircraft. The Air Ministry showed interest in the project and in August 1939, an order for two prototypes was placed and the design received the designation Vickers Type 414. Discussions around armament continued between the Air Ministry and Vickers, with Vickers creating two new designs that included eight 20mm cannons or two 40mm cannons. This resorted in 1940 in specification F1640, which covered the Vickers Type 420, armed with eight 20mm cannons, two in the nose and three in each wing. While the prototypes for Type 414 and 420 were being developed, Vickers started work on a high altitude fighter. This would become to be the Vickers Type 432. The Air Ministry was interested in such a fighter as by now the Luftwaffe had started high altitude flights over Britain and there were fears within the RAF that the Germans might resume their bombing of Britain from such heights. In early 1941, the Type 414 program was completely cancelled and the Type 420 program was put on hold not long after. Work on the Type 432 continued and in September 1941, an order from the Air Ministry for two prototypes of the Vickers Type 432 was issued, these to be built to specification F741. The Westland Welcome would also be produced to this specification. The Vickers Type 432 was a single seat fighter featuring a pressurized cockpit and powered by Merlin 61 engines. Armament for the new fighter would consist of six 20mm cannons housed in a tray underneath the front of the fuselage. The wings were of an elliptical plan form and were quite long at 56 feet 10 inch. The service ceiling was listed as 43,500 feet, although this was never reached during testing. The Type 432 had primarily a metal construction and its likeness to the Havilland Mosquito led it to reportedly being referred to as a tin mosquito. The first of the two prototypes were built throughout 1942 at Vickers Experimental Facility at Fox Warren near Brooklands. When construction finished, it was disassembled and transported by road to Farnborough, where on the 24th of December 1942, the prototype took to the air for the first time. The first prototype lacked any armament and a pressurized cockpit. Initial testing highlighted several issues with the aircraft. On the ground, the aircraft was snake while taxiing, making it difficult to taxi. In the air, it was found to have poor handling and modifications to the tailplane and ailerons were made to try and alleviate the problem. Additionally, when flown above 23,000 feet, there were reliability issues with the Merlin 61 engines that were installed. This resulted in the fighter never being properly tested at altitudes that it was designed to be flown at and limited testing. For example, it had been calculated that a top speed of 435 miles per hour could be reached at 28,000 feet. However, the best that was ever achieved in level flight was 380 miles per hour at 20,000 feet. On May 1st, 1943, the second prototype was cancelled, although it seems that this decision was made in late December 1942 following the first flight of the first prototype and only made official on the 1st of May 1943. By the end of 1943, the threat of the Germans using high altitude bobbing tactics had diminished and thus the Vickers Type 432 program was cancelled. The sole prototype continued to fly into 1944 before being scrapped having only flown 28 times. While the scrapping of the prototype marked the end of the Type 432 program, it also marked Vickers' last venture into designing and producing a fighter aircraft.